Hey everybody, it's Rywar9 and welcome back some more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we went to the ranch and then we went here to help this lady with her cuckoos and now the cuckoos are all gone and we just barged in and yeah. So further, uh, this time we're going to just explore the, the, the village a bit more and this is the house of Skulltula. How can you tell? Because there's cobwebs everywhere, obviously. And if you go forward, you see abomination! Ah! 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 Anyways, you're actually supposed to speak to them. We all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear, collected as proof of your achievement. The number next to this icon on the quest status subscreen indicates how many spiders of the curse you have destroyed so far. When this icon is displayed next to the name of the area on the map subscreen there, there are no more spiders in that area. Look for them, not only out of the open, but in the, all in dungeons. Of course, this is just our dream. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Ah, uh, if you break the curse of my family, we will make you very rich. Backflip, backflip. Okay, well... Yeah, and that's why you collect the uh, Skullchula tokens. Um, there's no point right now for me to to ask them, because they said they'll make you rich, so... I already have full capacity on my money bag. Anyway, um, you, madam, what are you doing? Hey, boys, is this the first time you visited this village? A great woman Impa opened up the village to us poor folk. Well, make yourself at home. The food isn't ready yet, though. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice home you got there. Very, very nice indeed. Okay. I don't think we're gonna find a market anytime soon, but if we do, we can definitely, definitely buy it. Oh, wait a second. I should have probably bought the shield. Hmm. Do I want to go buy the shield now? That might make the most sense. Let's go talk to this guy and then head back. I'll head back to the town and get the shield and whatnot. So I think we need to talk to him to open something up. Anyways, the road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Hey, oh, I see you're just a kid and you can't read yet. <laughs> Rock. <laughs> Death Mountain, no passage without a royal decree. Sorry, sir. Uh, yeah, I could read it. <laughs> Eat that. Oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Mm, okay. Okay. This is Lynx. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. We try. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? <laughs> All right, you can go on. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Wa ha 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 ha. And they open it up. Perfect. I think this guy... Oh, by the way, Mr. Hero. If you're going to climb up Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell me... T tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask shop that just opened in Hyrule Castletown Market? Everyone's talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. Sigh. I like that Lynx is still just holding out the paper. Anyways, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to open up and whatnot. So, perfect. What's inside this house? What will we find? Ah, you look like a shop owner. A job where you can make a lot of money without much effort. The only thing I can think of is thievery. That a bad idea? I don't know why you tell a kid that, but okay. Hmm, my little boy isn't here right now. I think he went to play in the graveyard. 
Oh shoot, yeah, I forgot about the graveyard. Who knows what we'll find in the graveyard. The spooks and spookies of the graves. Um, yeah, we should be able to see a nice view from up here. We got some of those. There's a guy just up on the, the roof there. Can we actually get to him? Can we? Hucha. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Not exactly what I was thinking. Okay, well, I can't actually talk to that guy as much as I wanted to. Anyways, I think I'll head back to the market to, uh, you know, try and go get the the the, 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 the shield and the happy mask thing. I mean, I think there's another thing you can do in the, the, the market area. So I might, might try looking for that as well. Yeah, let me just uh, cut away. And welcome back to the bazaar. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Da, 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 da. Talk to the owner. Da, 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 da. My current hot seller is the Highland Shield, but it might be too big for you, kid. We may as well buy. You heard about us from the guard at Death Mountain Gate? Well, I have to give you a good deal then. How much was the shield? Switch it in the menu to equip it, and yes, you have a shield. Do you like anything else? Um, I think I think he took it down five. <laughs> uh, what else you got? You got an arrow, a stick, more arrows. You got bombs. That'd be kind of good. Don't have enough for it now, but be kind of cool. Kind of cool. You never know. You never know. Bump a dump, 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 dump. Anyways, to the, the happy mask sale shop. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the happy mask shop. We deal in masks that brings happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell that mask and bring the money back here. Mm, yes, if you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you will become a happy yourself. Have faith. Okay. Does he say anything more? <laughs> a mask is a C item. Set it to C and use C to wear it. If you talk to someone with a mask on, you might get a reaction. If anyone is interested in the mask, he or she will ask you about it. Someone may want to want the mask. Someone may want the mask. Yes. Somewhere in the world, somebody is waiting for these masks. Just have faith. Okay, we're gonna buy the Keaton mask. Yes, you borrowed the Keaton mask. Wear it with C to show it off. You'll become the most popular guy with this mask on. Yep, I'm sure. What did we just uh, what did we just sign? Please read the sign before you use the shop. Oh, too late. How the shops work? You do not. We do not sell the mask at the shop. We lend you the mask, and then you sell the loan masks on your own. Mm -hmm. You pay back the money for the mask, and we will lend you a newer model can borrow masks you have already sold again. However, you can sell each model of the mask only once. Please try our shop. Okie dokie. We got a knee slapper. Please with C, sell me the contents of a bottle, please with C. Okay, quickly escape the, 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 the creepiness of her. Anyways, we got ourselves a back alley, so you know what you do? You talk to the first one. Hey, what? What's wrong with Lloyd around all day? Huh? Okay. Huh? Strange, this door doesn't open. Just imagine somebody saying that from the inside. Ah, oh, yes. Seems strange that packs of dogs roam our streets at night. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Does. It does. I think we have to do something when it's night. Hey, Sonny, I'll tell you something helpful. I heard there's a mysterious fountain somewhere near the castle. A mysterious fountain near the castle? Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, this door opened. Oh, ho, 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 the back entrance, yes. Or the front entrance. This just looks like a residential house. Break that. Steal their money before they notice we're in. <laughs> Yeah, Lynx is just a thievering person. Strange, it doesn't open. 
Welcome to the back alley. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Too close to the camera, Lynx. Okay. Well, sweet, sweet. Well, we may as well head back. Um, we could do the the night thing now, but I think we'll wait till later. <laughs> and by the time we reach the other place, it should be night. So let's hip scotch back over there. And okay, waited a little bit so that it can become night, so that we're here in Kakariko at night, because we only visited in the day and. You best know if they have a different time schedule, then it will become different times. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. How about now? I really am a good man. Don't you believe me? Ah. Okay. I wanted to try hitting the tree at night and to show that, you know, the Sculptulas appear at night versus in day. It's crazy. Okay. Yes, 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 indeed, it's crazy. Okay, if I remember, there's another Sculptula just waiting to be shot down by us. Oh, look at that. Now that's practice. Skill and practice from the shooting gallery to get us all the way to shoot that thing and get us the, the, the treat at the top. Perfect. Um, that guy's still there. How do you get there, though? Because you can roll, but you can't. Yeah. You there! I can't get down, so all I can do is look at the stars. Oh, that's very sad. Very sad indeed. Man, oh man. Oh yeah, we didn't even look at this. Dark, narrow, scary. Well of three features. Ah. That sounds like a terrible well. Okay, I think there's another creature of the Black Lagoon here. Yeah. Okay, can we even get up there? Yeah, we can. Look at that. We're doing great. And we're up here. So that's three. Um, we may as well go in and see if five was enough. Was that three? Yeah, wait. Yeah, that was three. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm cursed. Maybe this guy. Centerman tells us more. If you break the curse on my family, we will make you very rich. Maybe it's ten. How much am I at? Am I at eight? I'm at eight. Okay. Well, we'll come back probably, probably after a dungeon because they said we can find more in dungeons. Do, 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 do. Um. Now this night, some of the places have changed. Like in here. Wehehe, <laughs> those guys each do the work of half a man, but they still want a full man's portion. They're lazy slackers, I tell ye. No, 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 don't want to talk to you. Want to talk to the lady? Well, make yourself at home. <laughs> Food isn't ready yet, though. Still isn't ready? Goodness. I'm starving. Isn't dinner ready yet? It's 1844 already. Oh, I'm stopping. Let's eat dinner right now. <laughs> Look at this kid. My beautiful smooth hands are all worn out from working. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I do know the feeling of having beautiful smooth hands. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, lots to do in Kakariko, but I think we're finally going to leave Kakariko after we talk to this guy with this mask on. Yes. Wahaha, do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? <laughs> oh, is that a key something? Some character's mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. That key something, yep. That mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Sure thing. 
<laughs> My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. <laughs> he sold you the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. Well, we would do that, but instead, we're going to just go straight up here. And, you know, it's going to be a beautiful time. It's Death Mountain Trail. We have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place at night. Um, actually, I don't know if time continues or not. <laughs> oh, absolutely pwned that thing. Um, yeah, I forgot to actually ask Navi what that is. This is a red tektite. Lock onto it as it jumps with L targeting. Oh, forgot you don't actually need to hold it. Just poke it in the throat. That looks like a wall that can be bombed. Just stab it. Stab it. Perfect. Also, we have an open C button. You don't see that very often. <laughs> C. You there. Hello there, my good sir. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Meant to talk to you. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. Huh, if you want to hear more Goron gossip, head to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. Won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Well, that's indeed what we're doing. I'm trying to remember uh, the, the um, order of operation for some of these uh, stuff, and I feel like I've already missed something, so that's always good. But you know, that's just part of a playthrough. You go until you, you can't go anymore, and then you try a different path. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on the top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? <laughs> yes, love fairies. I am of called Fairy Boy for a reason. Of course, we can't head up there just yet because, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, that going just steamrolled right across. Um, that looks like another thing. <laughs> um, these look uh, interesting. I think you have to destroy all these at once and you get something cool. But we'll just stick with the hearts. The land of the Gorons, Goron City. Yes. Perfect. It's exactly where we want to be. Boom. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like an ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Ha, huh. I want to eat the top sirline rocks from the Dodongo's Cavern. Well, I can start to see the problem you guys are having. Yeah, you're only eating a specific food. Yeah, that guy looked huge. That guy is huge! I don't remember a huge Goron. Please. Okay, okay, you just thread the line. Ah, no! No! Okay, all according to plan. <laughs> you there! Speak to me. Big Brother has shut himself up in the- What? Shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Yeah. What an annoying guy. Uh, okay, those are bombs. Can I not hit the bombs? 
Man, well, not with that. Okay, so we know what we have to do there. But, you know, it's more fun to explore first. You there! What do you have to say? Oh, we don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest? What's a forest? Huh? It's where a lot of trees and plants grow. Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even Deku sticks are very scarce around here. I know a trick to conserve sticks. If you light a stick on fire, it will burn to ashes. Press A to put it away before it completely burns. By the way, I hit a stick somewhere. <laughs> okay. You know. Have we heard weirder things? I don't know if we have. Oh, what's that? What's that sound over there? I'm so hungry that I can't think about anything but food. Spiritual stone? That redstone that was lighting up our city? Big brother Darunya took it away. Then he shut himself up in his room and won't come out. Since then it feels like all the lights in the city have gone out. Everyone seems so depressed. I want you to bring fire from Big Brother's room back here. Look at that, you can hear the magical sounds of the the, the thing. How do you... <laughs> well, not that way. Okay, um, where's Mr. Roly-Poly guy? Well, there's fire in... Can we just do that? No, nope, nothing in there. Okay, well, they said they need the royal messenger, so I think we know what to do. It's <laughs> sold out. We need to play the song of the royal people. That's right. Zelda's lullaby. That will be the, the main song to memorize in this game. Good thing it's very easy to memorize. Darunya, I've come back. Or come back. <laughs> I've come here, yes. Definitely. What the heck are you? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. As Darunya, the big boss of Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by the sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now! You asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have invested the Dodongo's cavern! We've had a poor harvest of our special crop of palm flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from our strangers. Okay, well, sorry, was that spirit floating for a second? This is a Goron problem. We don't need help from you. But sir, I know the song of the, the minis. Um, but yeah, you can play him this song, and I believe it does absolutely nothing, even though you hear the chime of the chime chime. Or maybe, maybe he's like... Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Well, that's not quite what I was looking for. Wanted to hear a tune, something um from outside the mountain, something green, natural. That's the kind of music I want to hear. Interesting. I don't know. Oh, look at that, a stick. Oh, look at that, two sticks. We do need to bring fire out, so... This is gonna be important. Also, you just have a random spear right here. It's a little weird. Okay, so we gotta bring fire. Bring fire, gotta go quick. Quick, quick. Quick. Lighter him up. Lighter up. Yeah. Oh, 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 Lynx. Yo, spin me right around. <laughs> Put the stick away. Okay, perfect. Wanted to save the stick. Okay, now that we got fire, can we blow these up? Oh, jeez, we can. Put the stick away. 
Sweet. We got through to the other side. It's a Goron shop. Welcome. A red tunic. Yeah, or the Goron tunic. It's a tunic made by Gorons. Adult size protects you from heat damage. Well, very unfortunately, we cannot afford that. Oh, you can buy them only if you have a bomb bag. I don't think we have a bomb bag. Very unfortunate. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Goron, sir. Luckily, this stays lit so that we can go up. Watch out. Fire on a stick. Fire. Where are we going? Fire on a stick. Watch out. Ah, oh, shoot. We went the wrong way. Okay. Now that we know where we're going. Okay, we gotta, we gotta have a running start. Okay, running star. That was a terrible running star. Take the short. No, you talk to the person. Jesus. Cry, my days. We're not trying to talk to people right now. We've got important stick business. <laughs> okay. Plus, he was invisible. Like, he just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, well, he's not that invisible. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah! We, we did one. Yeah! We did two. Put the stick away. Okay, we brought you fire, my good sir. Fire. Yes. How was Big Brother? Oh, I see. By the way, do you know the music coming from deep inside this tunnel? We all like this music. Okay, so there's only one explanation. Light the on fire! Boop. Okay, easy enough. Um, I think we're supposed to throw something in there, but... Couldn't tell you what. Can we not pick these up? Nope, we're too weak. We can't pick up any grass. Anyways, they love this music, and guess what? It's Mr. Owl! Way over here, look. Lynx, good to see you again. Listen to this. Hoot, hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. <laughs> Do you want to hear what I said again? No, Mr. Amel. Ho ho, if you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Ah, uh, just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoo hoo hoo. Okay, thank you, Mr. Owl. We will do so, but we will do so next time. Yes. <laughs> oh, the torture. Amazing. Wow. That was, a, that was an echo. I want to do that again. <laughs> oh, fun, fun. Anyways, we will figure out the way to the sacred metal woods next time. So thank you all for watching this time of Ocarina of Time time. And until next time. Goodbye!